नेक्स्ट गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन गुड मॉर्निंग सो हाय वेलकम टू आईटी गांधी नगर थैंक यू प्लीज इंट्रोड्यूस योरसेल्फ आई एम विनीता माइटी आई एम फ्रॉम वेस्ट बंगाल हावड़ा आई डिड माय स्कूलिंग फ्रॉम जवाहर नवोदय विद्यालय आफ्टर दैट आई जॉइंट इन जॉइनर पुलिस विद्या निकेतन वेयर आई टॉप माय स्कूल विद 90% and from my graduation program i enrolled in uh, college of engineering management kolaghat in computer science and engineering discipline in my third year i did uh, my internship from iit kgp under the project for dna computing uh, under the professor dr karthik putin das and my final year project i chose plagiarism uh, detection system and my uh, after my graduation um, i worked in wipro for a year thank you great nice So, ah, uh, Binita, ah, uh, okay. So you are comfortable with data structure, right? Yeah. Okay. So, Binita, as you have mentioned, so at IIT Kharagpur, you work on DNA computing part. Data science. DNA computing, right? So, I have just a small question for ah uh, data structures. Like, so assume we have a string, we have a string of our DNA, A T G C, A T G C, and occurs infinite times, mm-hmm. and I have to count ah uh, character A, how many times the character A occurs in this string. so uh, like how can we approach this problem like, how can we solve this how can we count like how many times a character occurring in a string like you have, have to count a how many times a occur in this string given a string so we will take one string okay empty st- string and we will uh, input that value as a then we uh, run it for the n length of the string and okay. we try to search uh, throughout the n length so i think we will use a one counter as count So every time one loop is occurring, we'll increase the count. Ah, correct. Okay, great. Thank you, sir. So, so what will be the complexity of this? Order of n. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So in another thing, so you have to find a fixed point in a given array where things are sorted. So. so what are fixed point fixed point are in array all those i where uh, array ith index of array a is i so you have to find an index which is acting as a fixed point so what would be your approach the length of the array is and you can suppose it uh, it is finite and some n length here can i use that? yeah yeah Kind of search these kind of points, right? After yeah. <laughs> so I think we can implement linear search. Okay. So mm, can you explain in more detail? So how yeah. you will proceed? Uh, yeah. We start from the initial point and we try to match for all the points. Like if i index is one, right? So we try to uh, similar like whether i is equals to a i. If it is not, then we try to move forward. So we try to run this for n order. So I think we can get the result in order of n times. Okay. So can we improve it? Is there any better algorithm? Uh, we can uh, sometimes improve it uh, if we give some random random pattern, like randomly trying to read some solutions from the given length of the array. Hmm. But sometimes what it may happen is. You are randomly picking, and your the selection is so worse that every time you are not getting that fixed point index. So, in that case, also the worst time complexity will be order n. Are you convinced with that? Uh, okay. Okay, there is another sorting algorithm called uh, binary search. Uh, it is But there is uh, one disadvantage. If the array is not sorted, we can no. It is sorted. It is given that you okay. can assume it is sorted. Okay. That if the array is sorted, then we can implement binary search mm-hmm. in order of uh, logging times. Okay. So is it the best that we can do? Yeah, I think.
yeah you are right so the next question is from uh, have you read graph theory yes i did okay so you can assume the number of vertices to be even mm-hmm. now so now you have to construct graph having two connected component two component such that the number of edges should be maximum you have to put as many edges as much you can uh, so the number of uh, vertices is even can yeah. you say that yeah Vinita, can you speak out loud? Like, what are you thinking? Yeah, about? I am just uh, think. I am just writing down the uh, jotting down the points uh, for the first mention in the question. So I am thinking about uh, if we can implement the uh, bipartite graph. Mm, normal bipartite? No, like complete bipartite graph. So the number of edges will be maximum. And what will be the number of component there? Uh, it will be one component. But. can go with uh, two graphs like with uh, one one graph with all the com- all the vertices and another graph with one just a line something like that okay and one is k2 you are saying and yeah another is 2 uh, 2k minus 2 something okay What is k there? Is there an, uh, k is the even number. I think it's almost similar to the number of vertices in. Is it assumed uh, k is also similar to n? Mm-hmm. Can we improve? Can we put more edges? Is it possible? Yeah, uh, I think single vertices also act as a uh, another component. So if we take all the comp all the what is all the points like what is says in one component and another point is a single point is a null point as another component then we can get two components and one component with the maximum edges and what will be that graph with maximum edges complete graph yeah okay thanks thank you Thanks. Thank you.